Hi folks, um, like before, I kind of, to, to get, uh, so I don't forget or leave anything out, I need to put some st stuff down on paper, so that way that, you know, I just, I don't, uh, kind of just, uh, ramble on. But anyway, um, uh, so I thought I'd just go ahead and read it off. Um, I'll call this video, uh, Florida Forging 1, because there may be more than one. I uh, cannot stress enough to always be sure of your ability to identify the plants correctly or else get help from someone you really trust. There are many sources of references and info, information, uh, but that's not enough. It takes hands-on experience so your local county extension office, college or university botany office or your, uh, any of your local experts uh, would be good sources to get a uh, plant's correct identity. Um, just take a sample in and they can usually uh, uh, do some study and find out exactly what you got. Um, and they're pretty knowledgeable. Um, uh, there are even uh, local wild plant societies. Um, uh, if you don't know positively what a plant is, leave it alone. Uh, weigh the risk of eating against not eating. Um, do you have water to digest the food? Uh, why take the risk of, uh, of eating a possible harmful plant when you don't have to? You know, a person can go three weeks without food, so... Um, uh, then there are many folks out there that uh, they use field edibility testing. I don't, nor do I advise using it, um, because microscopic amounts of some plants can kill, so that eliminates field edibility testing right there. Um, there are no shortcuts to learning plants. Uh, having said all that, even experts make mistakes, uh, but expert help reduces the risk of plant poisoning, so, you know, that's kind of the points that I wanted to get across. Uh, so, um, it's better to have the experts than not. Uh, what I've got here is, uh, and this is something that's not a look-alike, and it's better actually if you start doing, uh, you know, getting into some wild edibles and that sort of thing to, uh, you know, it takes time to study this stuff. Uh, you study it, and then you uh, take, study the plant, <clears throat> then you take a sample in and get a positive identification on it. So, and, and it's preferred, and usually the, 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 they prefer when you take a sample in that if, if possible the, the plant is flowering or blooming because then they have a better idea with the bloom of uh, exactly what they're looking at, what they've got, because it's not just a leaf identif identification or, you know, other characteristics, it's the flower too. So, anyway, uh, this is, it's better to start off with something that's not a look-alike. There's, there's not too many things out there that look like a palmetto. This is a soft pal palmetto. Actually, this is not a soft. This is a, but there is one right next to it. The one I just took a picture of. Uh, this one here, as you'll notice, doesn't have any saws on it. And I believe it's called a sword palmetto or something similar. Um, uh, but it's a different variety of palmetto. Probably just a cousin. But anyway, what the point I wanted to make was, uh, uh, these things have cabbage on them, so you can take the, uh, the heart of it, which is just the center portion of the bud or the stump, and uh, it's very difficult just to try and take the heart and pull it out, um, so you want to kind of work it around to uh, break it loose if you don't have a tool. Um, most of us may maybe if nothing else we've got we've got a pocket knife with us and you can cut around it if you need to to maybe get it out but uh, sometimes these things work loose and sometimes they just don't um, so I'm gonna see about this one uh, it doesn't kill the palmetto unlike uh, cabbage palm you know if you take the heart of a cabbage palm it'll kill the cabbage palm uh, but palmetto just will grow the heart right back usually um, but I, what I want to do is I want to take it and I want to pull it from side to side. And let's see if I can get it to work. Yeah, there it came. 
And there's where it is. There's the heart. Pulled it right out. Right there. See all this white stuff? Right there. On the heart. It's edible. It's just uh, plant starch. It's kind of sweet. You can... The good part about this is I get to eat something. Um, <laughs> but you can cut these off, the little white portions, and you can drop them in a stew and cook them. They're probably better cooked. So, um, and you can, some, sometimes they get a little woody, but you can still chew the starch out of them. And they're pretty good. Um, another thing is you can grab one of these little, these little fronds over here, see if this one works, and pull it up. That one's not wanting to come. Sometimes you can pull a little young frond up. And there's not one around here. A, a little young frond. Mm. Mm. No, that one's not wanting to come. But, uh, and essentially when you pull the frond up, this gonna, wind is going to blow. When you pull the frond up with the stem, by the stem, uh, the stem kind of looks like this, and it'll have the same thing. It'll have a little bit of white on the bottom, and you can nibble on that. So, uh, um, anyway, it's not bad. It's kind of sweet. It's got starch. Um, and uh, there's, no, there's nothing else out, out here that looks like a palmetto, so you're safe with that. Um, <clears throat> a palmetto is pretty much a palmetto. Um, and it's, like I said, it's good to start off with something that's like this that doesn't have any lookalikes. And it's, and it's food is sitting here ready for you. So, um, I got another one over here. I did. And it's the same thing. So, also, during the uh, spring, summer, we're in the growing season, so they put out more starch. Then in the fall, winter, and in the fall, winter, they tend to get more woody, so you kind of have to chew the, the starch out of it because it's uh, there's just not as much there, um, not as much white, um, not as much uh, edible stuff on it, and you can chew the the uh, starch out of it. Like I said, it's kind of kind of sweet. It's the sugar and the starch, but um, they're not bad. And uh, that's about it for this clip. Um, thanks for watching.